What's going on guys, in this video I'm going to be breaking down an absolutely crazy pressure that you can get out of the Nickel 335 Sam in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people get better at Madden 22. So if you want to get better at this game, we have videos that we post every single day that can help you get better on offense and on defense in this game. Now, I wanted to quickly highlight my true fan membership. If you guys aren't a true fan of the channel yet, I would encourage you to do that because we are dropping some fire content over on the true fan membership this week. Um, talking a little bit about the Nickel 335 Sam, the Nickel 335 in combination, how we can actually get some really, really good personnel on the field uh, with this defense out of the Seattle Seahawks playbook. But one of the things I wanted to highlight about our true fan membership is it's just five bucks a month. So it's super, super cheap. And the videos in the True Fan membership are actually meant to be kind of straight to the point, uh, but also a deep dive into the game, as well as what we do over there is we actually break down pro player schemes. So what the pros are doing in tournaments, we actually break that down and literally show you um, frame by frame, film room by film room, um, how pro players are playing this game. So I've got a really good film room that I'm actually planning to release this week on Decroft. We've got some really fire stuff that we're talking defensively this week as well, maybe some different abilities and things like that, as well as some great offensive content. So if you want to get that exclusive content, I don't share that with anybody. I don't share that anywhere else. I only share that on my true fan membership. And you can sign up in the description for five bucks a month, and you can cancel that whenever you want to. So it's not if you, if you just want it for one month, that's fine. You just go, you get it, you cancel it. But it's my Patreon. It's a great way to support the channel. And we're also adding a Discord server at the end of this week for our true fan members to be able to chat and kind of talk mad. We won't be doing a public Discord server this year. We're just doing a private one. So really excited about that. If you're not a true fan member yet of the channel, I'd encourage you to do that. You're going to get access to some really, really high level uh, content over there. So that being said, I wanted to dive into this video today. And this is a really good pressure out of 335 Sam. Um, I was laughing because one of the issues I think with 335 Sam is that the pressure off the right edge is really, really good. We did a video on that a couple days ago, but how do you get pressure off the left edge? How do you get pressure off of both edges from this formation? So I'm going to share that with you here. All we're going to do is we're going to flip the play and we're going to come out in this play. It doesn't really matter, um, honestly, to me, what what you can, you could do this out of anything, really. Um, I like to do it out of the cover one SS blitz or the double safety blitz. Either one of those is fine. Uh, the reason I like double safety blitz is because I can actually set my coverage up out of this fairly well. It's just a simple five man heat, but let's do it out of a double safety blitz flipped. And the setup is really, really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to uh, essentially hit square left trigger to reset the play and then pinch both linebackers. And what you'll see is these safeties come down into the gaps. From there, we're just going to simply crash our defensive line to the uh, to the middle, so slam them inside, just like this. You might have to do it a couple times. And then from there, the last little step is we're going to take that safety on the right side that is blitzing, and we're going to do one of two things. You can man him up on the tight end, and then you can feel free to use her, this linebacker right here. And all we're going to do is kind of blitz him on a blitz and blitz right down the center. And our lurk is really good. This is really good for Gun Bunch because of where you get to lurk. You have everybody manned up, and then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to lurk down and to the right to essentially hold the center on the right side of the field. So snap the ball, and what you're going to see here is the pressure is going to scream right through that B-gap, as you can see. So let's jump into this replay, kind of break down what you see. Now, Nickel 335 Sam, in my opinion, is a rising star in the Madden community. It's a defense that I think um, is much better than Nickel Normal, but it does use some of the same concepts. You get a really nice uh, alignment with your cut with your defense, and there's a lot of things we can do out of pressure. So be on the lookout for some more content from me out of this 335 Sam. I think it's one of the best defenses in the game right now. Um, it pairs very nicely uh, with the Nickel 335 uh, Normal. There's also some ways that we can create some similar concepts out of the 245 in our defensive guide that we talked about in the Giants playbook. So all that to say, this is a really good defense. Take it into practice mode, test it out. There's a lot of good stuff you can do. But take a look at this pressure real quick. You're gonna see, we get this really, really glitchy uh, B-gap heat right through the middle. Now, a little way to expand on this play um, that I like to do is you can actually do this out of anything. You just need to blitz the safety. So uh, what I like also about 3 3 Sam is that it has all of the match coverages. So we can go to cover four quarters, and now we're in quarters coverage, 
And you see the safeties are still down. So we can just pinch our linebackers, pinch our defensive line, crash our defensive line down, and then we can take this weak side quarter guy and put him on a blitz. Now, whenever I do this, what I like to do is I like to replace, uh, or I like to actually leave my user on the three rec because match coverage, you kind of need to leave them on the zones that they're on. Otherwise, it will kind of kind of glitch it out a little bit. But what we can also do is we can contain uh, off the outside edge to get a little bit wider of a blitz angle for that safety. And again, we're just kind of standing right here. And what you'll see at the snap of the ball is again, that B gap will just kind of come right in clean. Uh, it doesn't come in like super, super clean, but it does come in nonetheless um, fairly consistent. It's very consistent pressure. Um, but what I like about this is it gives us the opportunity to create some pressure concepts uh, off of this outside edge. Now, if you wanted to get this a little bit cleaner, if you move this guy over just a little bit, just like that right there, you can kind of move him over the over the center in the left guard, snap the ball, come down, and you'll see here, that time the pressure didn't come in as clean as I wanted to. I think I accidentally dropped the backside guy into coverage. So let me show you this again. So again, you can just audible to any play. You don't have to stay in double safety blitz is my whole point of saying that. Um, but then just crash your line down, blitz that safety off the edge, kind of stand right over here. And now you see, again, the pressure coming through that through that gap heat uh, that I really like. Now, another little trick with this is you can actually go ahead, um, you can actually go ahead and essentially crash your defensive line uh, to the left side as well. That's another way to get this kind of coming in cleaner. Um, so again, just kind of snap. And there you see, now we get the edge heat from the safety if you wanted a little bit more of a cleaner blitz, but it's not as fast uh, in my opinion. So anyways, guys, that's the nickel 335 CM. Um, there's more concepts that we can do with this. One of the things I like to do is I could actually blitz this linebacker off of this edge and then I could drop this guy into coverage, you know, do something like this. And, you know, there's just a lot of cool ways that you can create pressure from this defense. And that alignment on that outside is super cool. Um, there's a lot of ways, you know, to get really easy pressure um, that's going to put your opponent in kind of a kind of a bad spot, to be honest. Um, it's the double safety blitz. What I do like about the double safety blitz is the fact that I could take this guy right here and I could bring him over the center. And now this creates even more pressure in terms of everything that I could do from a pressure perspective that the offense has to worry about. And then now you see here, you know, that time the B gap got a little caught up, but the idea is you've got a lot of opportunity from this defense to create different types of pressures that are honestly fairly unique. Um, if you stand in this gap right here, uh, you can see we'll get a little bit of a different type of pressure with this, and it allows you to be in a really good position to lurk kind of flat routes and stuff like that. But anyways, as you can see, this defense is a lot of fun. So I'd encourage you to check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Um, I think this is one of the better defenses in the game right now uh, because of the fact that, number one, you can get these this really – I think it aligns really, really well uh, against a lot of stuff. I think you get a really, really good alignment. And you're able to play a lot of different types of coverages, a lot of different types of, you know, match coverage out of this. So just something to kind of tinker around with, mess around with. So let me know what you think of the video. I really enjoy um, kind of breaking down some of these newer defenses. I think this defense right here, honestly, is uh, better than the nickel normal defense that a lot of pro players are running. Uh, and the biggest reason why is just because of the fact that we get really good alignment and we get really clean pressure, um, pr really clean B-gap pressure right there, right there. So um, that's a pretty scary little blitz, I'm telling you right now. If your opponent um, isn't prepared for something like that out of this formation, that's pretty pretty special pressure, in my opinion, because you're, you're able to get this B-gap very consistently out of this look. Um, and you're going to find that it's going to kind of scare your opponent into throwing. And the pressure comes in a little bit faster than you might think. Um, when you're a pocket passer and you're kind of you catch the ball you up oh, he's there right in front of my face you're not expecting that you're stepping right up into the pocket and you're going to step right up into that pressure so anyways that's the three through five sam if you want to get my true fan membership i'd encourage you to get it it's just five bucks a month uh super super cheap a great way for you to support the channel you get a discord uh we're going to get that discord out this week we've got a film room coming on dcroft's uh friday night football victory i think you won a thousand dollars in that tournament We've got, um, we, we've got defensive updates. We're going to be sharing with you some different coverage schemes, some different pressure schemes as well. We've got a, and then obviously, of course, we've got some offensive stuff for you. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. You want to get that true fan membership. That's some really good stuff over there. So I encourage you to go check it out. There's a link in the description where you can join it. And again, it's just five bucks a month and you can cancel it whenever you want.